Are you looking for a pediatric pulmonology fellowship at a top children's hospital in a friendly city? One where you'll get plenty of experience treating the common pediatric pulmonary conditions as well as the rarest of the rare? And where you can develop a research project you're passionate about under the guidance of leaders in the field? For all of these things, you can look to Cincinnati Children's. It's a huge place where you have the opportunity to really see not just within pulmonary experts within every field, but really within the whole hospital. And we see like the bread and butter of pulmonary, and then we see as extremely severe diseases in pulmonary because we're a transplant hospital too. So you will get exposure to absolutely everything. Cincinnati Children's accepts three to four fellows each year. Our fellows get exposure to all pulmonary subspecialties, including rare lung diseases, lung transplant, aerodigestive, neuromuscular disorders, cystic fibrosis, asthma, bronchopulmonary dysplasia, home ventilator, and sleep. The 38 faculty work closely with fellows throughout their time here. I did a lot of my training here, including my pulmonary fellowship, but then I came back as faculty. It was a family, and I think that this was a place I wanted to be. It's super collaborative, very collegial, and I just think it's a, it's a great place to learn and work. I think it's a really fun environment, a really relaxed environment, that everyone wants to get to know you and sort of just talk about your life and what your goals are both professionally and outside of work. The first year of the fellowship is predominantly clinical work. By the second year, fellows are beginning the transition to research, which they essentially focus on full-time in the third year. In order to be a competent physician and peds pulmonologist, you need to know the latest and greatest. And so being able to critically look at research and participate in it is super important. If our fellows have a question that they want to ask and we can support them with developing a research project, we can help them write the research project, apply for grants. Our fellows have been very successful in securing funding for their projects. We have administrative support if there's IRB protocols or animal use protocols that need to be done to really help fellows envision a project, uh, bring it to fruition, and complete it. It's an opportunity for, for them to discover themselves and we would like to help them discover their passion and their nature. In the case that you're living on one of the coasts of the U.S., Cincinnati may be a little bit off the radar screen, but it's actually a mecca of powerful science and we have a long history, particularly in, in pulmonary medicine and pulmonary biology. From a vibrant art scene and craft breweries to professional sports teams and plentiful biking and running trails, Cincinnati is a fantastic place to live. I love Cincinnati. <laughs> it's a smaller city that you still get a lot of the same kind of things you think of with big city. You get a lot of uh, home for your money. Every neighborhood sort of has its own feel to it, which is really neat as well. It's a very fun place. It has art, it has music, it has good foods, and it has good people. Cincinnati Children's has the people to support what you need. And really, at the end of the day, you want to be in an environment where you feel good about waking up and coming to work in the morning. And Cincinnati Children's has that. We're here to support our fellows. We're here to get them the best education and to help them down the career path that they ultimately want. And I think that's pretty unique here.